put these in. You didn't need wax or anything. They just went. But a lot of the benches downtown. So, I mean, what did you think of the title of the story and stuff? I mean, was everything okay there? I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, I loved it. I loved the whole giving tree theme. Mm -hmm. That was really nice. Did you like that story as a kid? I mean, my son yeah, really yeah, likes yeah, that story. Yeah, I loved the Silver State when I was a kid. My mom used to read all of the, the Shell Silver State books to me. Did she really? Yeah. yeah That's why she was on it right away. She was like, oh, I love this. That's pretty yeah. cool. Um, so now that you kind of think of it in, co in that context, I mean, how do you feel like in a way that like the child is like, oh, you know, like the, the son to the mother can be like, I can give you something back. I mean, obviously the tree is still giving the city a lot, but I mean, I look at it as kind of like, well, but we're giving it you know, you're giving it back. Everybody who skates the tree is giving it back in this way of like, I mean, I look at it as kind of like, well, well, but we're giving it, you know, you're giving it back. Everybody who skates the tree is giving it back in this way of like, like being creative with it, like, like spending time with it in a simple way. How do you feel about that? It used to be a bigger thing. The tree was like a destination skate spot before they did all the construction to it. And now it's, it's, I have heard stories that people have been arrested and actually like put in a cop car and everything just for skating over there. I've never seen that. I've never even gotten kicked out over there. But when they did the remodel of everything, I heard that it became this like very We've gone there a lot recently and never had any problems. Um, but yeah, I mean... It seems like, that, it seems like it's, the whole thing's going to be kind of welcoming. Like, it's like, yeah, it's like, to me at this point, it's like, wow, it's like, oh yeah, except skating in city areas. Like, it's a beautiful thing. And that's yeah. the whole idea of giving back to the tree. I mean, did you think about that? Like, how do you feel about that? And, and take your time to... I mean, seriously, man, like, take your time to rip it or something, because I think that you have something to say about this, too. Yeah, no, I, I really like the concept there. Um, you know. Yeah, no, I, I really like the concept there. Um, it's really hard to convey the idea of, like, this public appreciation for street skating. That's very, it's very difficult, because not many people have it. There's a really cool thing that you might, you might be interested in. Um, uh, his last name was Bacon. I think it was Kevin Bacon's, like, father or grandfather. He, he was, like, a, he was like an artist. And he, yeah, he, he designed the skate park in Philadelphia, right? Yes. And no, it's actually not a skate park. Well, well the, the, the... Love Park. That's right, Love Park, yep. So, it was used, it is, like... That is like, Love Park is in the top five most like, well-known skate spots in the world. Um, and it has been for a really long time. But That's where Chris Cole did the backside 180 kickflip over the gap when the fountain was down and then somebody like, told him they'd pay him a hundred bucks to do it frontside and he did it on one try. That's how yeah, the story yeah, goes. Yeah. To me, that whole story about how he, that like, he was like 90 years old or something. I've never had a skateboard or anything before, 
talking a little bit about that, and you have people helping uh, to, to show this acceptance of public, uh, like, recreation of objects in, in the urban environment. And she really supports the idea of this creation getting used in that way. Um, well, let's, let's do this. Let's let's go back just to make it one line, Adam. Okay. Because it, it holds this high status of, like, skateboarding that happens there. Lots of skateboarders, different generations of skateboarders in Cedar Rapids area have skateboarding. Dave to the tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Let me, let me, we use what, what the area allowed us to and we created this thing. Yeah, exactly. We, I mean, we use what it, what the area allowed us to, and we created this thing. Um, in a sense, gave it purpose to a whole new group of people um, who otherwise wouldn't have even cared about that whole area of the of the city there. I mean, you have to admit too, like. If you're driving through town and like you're just like, oh, I'm on first, first and first, you know, and I'm cruising through, and you see some people skating there, like anybody in town driving through town likes to see that, you know, they they like to see that going on. I mean, it's not like, well, maybe not everybody likes to see it, but I mean, it 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 is nice to see, you know. I think the majority would agree with that. Yeah, I would. I wouldn't necessarily have guessed that. I would love for that to be. I would. I wouldn't necessarily have guessed that. I would love for that to be true. If it is true, then I think it's true whether or not you know it's accepted. I don't know. That's just my feeling. It's a weird thing. Public skating in the public is it's weird thing where people either accept it wholeheartedly, people have nothing to do with skateboarding. Sometimes they love it. We've had cops come up to us and tell us, hey, we got a complaint that people were being rowdy in the parking lot, but you guys are just skating. I don't even care. And, like, like things like that where people are really cool with it. But I've also had a guy almost run me over for skating yeah. in a public place. Yeah, it's getting better, but it definitely depends on the people. Okay, okay. Like, the, yeah. the single person that's actually coming up to you. Not their job or whatever. I mean, they're all doing their jobs, but it's the ones that are thinking like people and not thinking like their job. Yeah. There's a difference between like like a police officer coming up and telling us to leave. Like that that is their job. Or someone who owns a building. And if we're skating, I get it. I'm not gonna argue with them. Yeah. If it's just a when it's over, it's over. Sunday, a bizarre tribe that swallows poisonous snakes alive on Ripley's Believe It or Not. And on Matt Houston, the chef special turns out to be a recipe for murder. Then, Dustin Hoffman and Meryl Streep in the network television premiere of Kramer vs. Kramer. Stay tuned as a gallant rescue puts Art's own head on the block as the quest moves into passionate and perilous Italy. Following an ABC News Brief, next.